Today on Toy Shiz, that's the guy. That, that's him right there. That's him. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally going to be checking out the brand new Blitzway and 5 Pro Studios Where's Wally 1 12th scale deluxe action figure there's a lot there now i got mine from entertainment earth they shipped in this nice uh, poly bag right here it says where's wally on the bag but then when you go and open it up it does say where's waldo and it's a really nice looking set very vibrant you got all the different aspects of where's waldo all over it you got the artwork where's waldo at the top you got the five pro studios and 112 scale action figure which yeah, he's around that six and a half, seven inch mark from foot to top of his little spike ball hat, right? But uh, in either case, uh, it's pretty cool. I just love the look at the box. Very nice packaging. Overall, a really nice looking presentation. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Blitzway and 5 Pro Studios. Where's Waldo action figure? And while I got all you odd laws here, I just want to tell you about Entertainment Earth. If you're in the mood to buy some action figures or maybe Book of Boba Fett, Tiki Mugs, Simpsons, Batman Beyond figures, Masters of the Universe backpacks, whatever nerdy stuff that you're really looking for, might I suggest Entertainment Earth. You can pick up this new Waldo figure if you'd like. Actually, this is the more expensive one. This is the deluxe. It says that there's only one left as of this recording, so I'm just... Pointing that out there. He is 100 bucks. I will say that as well. But he is a really nice looking figure as you'll come to see in this video. Hopefully I'll keep your attention long enough. Hey, if you don't want to spend the 100 bucks, there's also the $60 more basic figure. It does come with less accessories. The stand's gone, all that kind of stuff. But, hey, you are getting a Where's Waldo figure. So same exact figure, just less accessories. And you can go down and you can see all the specs and whatnot. If you have any more questions regarding him, check out, do all that great stuff. Entertainment Earth, new toys, toys you may have missed. I use them myself, highly recommend them. And as you can see, this figure has a ton of stuff. Now, again, this is the deluxe set. Comes with a lot more accessories. Comes with a base. It's very cool. I'll, I'll just show you. How about that? So, best thing to start off with is the background, right? And then you get the uh, instruction manual, which is a very detailed out instruction manual. Very helpful if you kind of looked at this and went cross-eyed. You know what I mean? But tells you in detail every single accessory how to apply each one so towards the end of this video yes i will do it exactly how the instructions say and see what we come out with you do get a lot of different accessories ones that i say you know you wouldn't necessarily need but this is cool for taking photos and you get a postcard as well it just kind of applies to the fun this i will show you this can clip onto the base uh exactly how and why and all that will i'll show you in just a bit but these are Little, we'll say badges, little tokens that say where's Wally, where's Waldo all over it. Little photos of Waldo and on the back side are little ports and you clip those onto the base, which are actually pretty cool. These are actually the peg holes that will fit into the base for Waldo and then you have these clips which show you what that does as well because the main base, which is a book, it's a blue book, it's actually pretty cool. The whole love being shown for waldo here is very evident whoever designed this figure uh, really likes waldo or just knows how to make good action figures you open up the book you can put the all the weapons in the storage and all that kind of stuff inside the book for safe keepings and then you can see on the other side the part of the book that comes off this is where you would slip in those pegs and you can apply waldo right there then you take these little tokens or little stamps and whatnot and you can arrange them however you want there's multiple portholes on the book, Blitzway on the back, and then he comes with a bevy of extra hands. And these hands are all pretty cool, well designed, and they're all a little bit different from each other. Everyone's a weapon holding, item holding hand, or a pointing hand, or just a waving hand. or It's just very cool. I like all the uh, different choices. Then you get a snorkel gear, right? You get the little goggles, and you get the mouthpiece, which can be disconnected. You can put this around his neck if you really want. It's nicely done. Little clear plastic really makes this thing come to life, of course. And then you get his little burst satchel, hobgoblin, green goblin bag, right? Doesn't open up, but it does fit around him. You can take the little strap off and uh, put it around. All this stuff will make sense in just a second. This is a shovel. Not much to it, but it is a well-done shovel and has an interesting little aspect to it. You get a camera, which 
is cool. It's like an old-fashioned camera. I just really wish the lens had more to it. A little bit more paint on that guy, much like these binoculars. If it just would have had that, that would have been cool. But this is a really nice set of binoculars right there, and that can slippily, uh, slip around Waldo's neck if you want to go that route. He comes with his cane. How many times when doing the Where's Waldo books did you have to look for the cane, right? So he's got his little walking stick cane, and he comes with a rubber mallet which I think that could have used just a little more paint, just saying he comes with his belt. At least the belt buckle has a little bit of yellow to it to accentuate it from the brown, and that unclips. It actually works pretty well. You get a tea kettle, and you get a cup. Maybe he's making coffee, maybe he's making tea. The handle will rotate. That's pretty cool, and you can pour yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Huh? You know how I like that. And then you get this really nice backpack. Man, it's really well done. It's a heavy sucker. I'm, I'm not going to lie. You got the straps and you've got the rollout sleeping bag on top and all the buckles and everything else. It's really weighted down. It's nice. It's really cool. And then you got these flight stands that really do help. And one of them is magnetic. And I'll show how that comes in in just a few. And then you get the tiniest, littlest Where's Waldo Now book or Where's Wally Now, depending on where you are. Europeans got uh, Where's Wally us Americans, we got to Waldo. But yeah, essentially, it's a little miniaturized Where's Waldo book. So I definitely dig that. There's a couple other accessories, things that were thrown into the box was this set of stickers. Again, it, it things that I, I would say not necessarily needed, but you can put them on various things if you want. You could even put them on the blue book if you wanted to go that route. And of course, with the deluxe set, you also get Woof, which is... Well, you could say it's Waldo's dog. Apparently, it's Wenda's dog, which is, what, Wally's, Waldo's girlfriend. But he's got a little articulated tail. He's basically just a PVC figure, but he does have a rotation in his head. So he does have parts that move, which are nice. And he's nicely painted. I got to give it to him. It's a dog with glasses and a little sweater and a little poof ball hat. What more do you need, right? But then, then, after all that stuff, right, we come to the uh, the main attraction right here, which is... Waldo himself. He looks like Waldo, and the video is done, right? No, they've done quite a fantastic job. You'll see in just a second what I really mean, but the paint is very nice on this guy. The whites to the reds, the blue pants, everything is done nicely. Most of him is just colored plastic, but where there is applied paint, it's done nice. He's very crisp, he's very clean, and there's not much more you could do. I mean, that's Waldo right there. He does have some good articulation in the head. It will just rotate, and his neck basically moves. It's not actually the head. You get some nice movements in the arms. They will go straight up and down, just like that. His body type really allows for that. Not, not nothing that's going to really hinder the movement on there. And he'll spin at the shoulders. He's got single-jointed elbows. He'll spin at the elbow as well. And he's got some nice hands, which, of course, we saw the hands you can swap all those out as well. Now, he doesn't have any ab crunch, so he's not going to be doing any karate moves or anything like that. But he will spin at the waist, kind of, sort of. His legs kind of knock into his shirt, which you can't get him all the way around. He can definitely do the splits. He can kick out for the most part. So he kind of kicks off to the side. It's because his shirt will meet his pants. He's got single-jointed knees. He will rotate at the knees as well. And then he's got some feet that will move with you they're not exactly a rocker ankle rock kind of deal but they get some movement and he's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet as well so really he's really well articulated for the type of figure that he is now we're gonna go through this and we're gonna go through this by the numbers here so you get his belt right and you can hook on the teapot right there and just kind of slip the belt a little bit higher underneath his shirt between his shirt and his pants and it works pretty good you got his satchel bag and this disconnects right there so you can slip the coffee mug right over that and then rebuckle it and simply just slip that around his head and his hands and arms and all that stuff and hang it right there. So you got weapon storage in that sense. Next is the camera. Slides up his arm, put it over his head. It's all pretty self-explanatory. But I had a lot of fun doing this. It's not really too difficult and things don't really fall off, really. Except for this mallet. The mallet, they say, just like kind of tuck it in there. You know what I mean? It stays for the most part, but you know, you know how that goes. So let's put the backpack on. You throw his arms back. This is what the directions say. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy to do. So you just kind of get his arms finagled into the straps right there and 
I mean, it may take you a second, but you can do it. There you go. And then you'll notice something cool. The backpack is magnetic to his back. So it's on there. Even if you don't want to use the straps, it stays on his back. Same with the shovel. The shovel is magnetic. Although it's a very light magnetic, it doesn't always stay on. Sometimes that will fall off. You got the binoculars on him slips over his neck then you kind of just undo the snorkel put that around his head as well now we're ready for the base right so you just go ahead and pop these two in depending if you want to do two feet right which i'll show you in just a second which the route i went which was what the directions uh, said to do but you can put both his feet right there you can apply all these little badges and stamps and kind of get these just situated all over the top of the book and you get a lot of nice choices. You can customize it however you want. This is just what I did. I did not follow the book. I went against the rules on this one. This little clip right here, you can go this route if you want. So this basically slips into there just like that. And then you go ahead and you remember this thing, this is at the beginning of the video, you just kind of clip this on and that stays on the back. So it's just a different way of displaying him, which it's cool. I mean, I'll probably do that eventually, but we're going one route right now. Don't forget inside, put all the extra hands and the clips and the parts and pieces that you're not using right inside the book. And you get the dog and you situate his legs and everything else. Get his little cane going and everything else. Put the little stand in the back. Get his little magnetic piece that attaches to the backpack. Keeps him all upright and steady. It's, this is a pretty, pretty dang cool figure. I got to give it to him like this. This is awesome. It's every bit what they said it would do. And it does everything in the instruction booklet. This is Where's Waldo in the dog woof standing on a book. And I couldn't be much happier about it. I tell you honestly, this looks very cool. It's the perfect desk accessory. If you want to have some great photography sessions with this guy, I'm sure he'll go with a lot of different action figure lines and such. You can put them in the background. And I would say throughout 2022, be on the lookout in my videos. If you spot him, maybe I'll, I'll throw something in and send you something. Just saying. So all of 2022, look for Where's Waldo in my videos and be the first to spot him. I'm just saying. But if you were wondering in terms of the scalature for this guy. Now, he is at the 112 scale. He's about six, six and a half more at the seven inch mark with his poof ball hat. Just to say that. So Marvel Legends, he's taller than, he's shorter than most McFarlane toys, figures, and Transformers, depending on which one you have. So find the figures that work for you. But yes, he's around that seven inch mark. So hands down, this is one of my new favorite figures. And it's what, January 5th? <laughs> Not to date this video. This is great. I've never had anything from Blitzway or 5 Pro Studios, and I think they really did a great job. A uh, nitpick or two that I have for this is the shovel doesn't always stay on. Once it's on, it's on, but if you kind of knock him or you're rearranging him and stuff like that, it will fall off the back. So it's not as powerful a magnet as the flight stand one that hooks onto his back or his backpack. So if, if that has to be the problems, then, I mean, so be it. But this is a great figure highly recommend him if you're a waldo fan now the price is a little bit expensive we're not gonna lie on that however it, it's just the right type of person if you're a big waldo fan or if you want a cool looking action figure something different for your shelf yeah look no further than old waldo here but i am curious to know what you guys think about this where's waldo figure will you be grabbing have you already gotten him comment below let me know let's talk everything where's waldo have you ever actually found waldo be honest. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, look out for Waldo in 2022, and it just might work out in your favor. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.